Hi, Calculus. More Desmos. So last time you saw how to create this point and use this slider to move it around and evaluate the function at different x values. And so, I don't know, maybe you feel like this was a lot of work typing that stuff in. Well, definitely save it. So let's give your graph a title. You can just call this function evaluator or you can call it whatever you want and hit save. And then I've saved it. Um, so then, you know, anytime I come in here, I have all my graphs saved and I can just come to function evaluator and we already saved it. So let's get out of here and we're just back at the function evaluator. So now you don't have to type this in every time. So let's say I want to change the function. So now I'm no longer in an X, interested in an X cubed. Let's say I want to find out about X to the fourth. I can just change it to X to the fourth and now I'm evaluating that function. Right, so what if I say f of x equals sine of x? Okay, now I'm evaluating the sine function. So you can just, you know, that's the beauty of this. It's just plotting x sub 1, f of x sub 1, which is referring to this function up here. So I can just change that function definition and then evaluate the function. Let's look at one that we did uh, yesterday. I think it was x shift 6 cubed. Um, and then I right arrow to get out of the superscript minus 9x and it was over some complicated polynomial so if I want I want to put this in parentheses so that I can tell Desmos that this whole thing is going to be the numerator and then when I hit this forward slash I'm going to get the denominator and so now I can type in I think it was x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 12. I think it was something like that. That's not exactly right, but it was something along those lines. But anyway, you can so you can put in any complicated function you want up there, and then you've got it graphed, and you've got this point to move around. Um, I'm, it's not moving past here. Oh, yeah, that's because I set the range here, right, which I can just change. I have my range from minus 2 to 2. I, let's just make it negative 10 to 10, and let's make the steps... Point 0.1 so it moves a little faster and less precisely. Um, did something wrong there, so step of two points. Okay, cleared that up. So now we're back in business. So we can just drag our point around and we can evaluate. You know, we're seeing what is the value of the function at x equals negative 6.9. It's 0 0.955. But anyway, so the point is you can save these, come back to it, and then you could just have this little function evaluator where every time you open it up and you can type in any function you want right there. All right, Desmos, uh, evaluating functions. Save your function evaluator and use it again and again. Thank you.